Meantime, Bob Stefanowski is in Fairfield this afternoon. He wants to repeal the state's controversial affordable housing law. News 12 Connecticut's John Craven says the high cost of living is a major issue for voters. Fairfield is the epitome of small town charm, but that charm comes at a cost. Almost $800,000 for the average home. Now the candidates for governor are battling over affordable housing. Republican Bob Stefanowski says he'll replace Connecticut's affordable housing law. This is more about a bill referred to as 830G that simply hasn't worked. 830G applies to most towns. Developers can bypass zoning rules if their project is at least 30% affordable. But Fairfield's first select woman says buildings like these actually raise rents. They can build whatever they want, however they want. As long as they just add a few pieces or few units of affordable housing and a ton of market rate housing. Housing advocates admit 830G needs reform. We need more affordable housing as a state. But the Partnership for Strong Community says the law is needed. Single family lot sizes, minimum lot sizes have gone up and up and up. So where they may have started at a quarter acre lot, we're seeing some minimum, some towns with some minimum lot sizes of two acres, right? Governor Lamont has treaded carefully on the issue. Stefanowski says offer incentives instead of mandates. Perhaps there's a parcel of land that we could jointly look at and provide some state funding to buy that land for the purpose of affordable housing. Advocates say affordable housing doesn't have to be some massive development. Towns can convert small homes into apartments and offer rental vouchers to help with the cost. In Fairfield, John Craven, News 12, Connecticut.